<sighs> this is a tricky decision. Because even though I get more, um, what's the word? Interaction and stuff on my ASMR channel. I don't really know if I'll keep posting to my ASMR channel as often as I have been. Because now I kind of feel like I'm ignoring my main channel. Even though I still kind of post on both a decent amount, I think. Is this the lipstick I had on earlier? It's kind of faded some. So it's just eating. Some leftovers. I like this. Like, you don't really have to wear makeup or anything, but nice little lip color just brings a little warmth to the face, I guess. And I need it because I'm bit. <laughs> I have a message before I get into anything. I want to reply. For the past few days, I've been going to Gabe's more than I ever have. Because the first time was with my sister. And I didn't really think I'd go back since. And then my mom did a trip. And then we had a return today. So that was like the other trip. So I'd gone like three times recently. <laughs> I already shared what I got when I got my bag, the other bag. And yesterday, without dropping everything, I got mostly some clothes. This is a cute little Prop top. I don't know why I was drawn to it, but I was. It's just a nice little off light kind of thing. Oh, I'm not down here, so it's like when people tie their shirts, but it was intentionally done. That is cute. I don't know why I liked it so much, but I was like, oh, I want that. And then for when you go to the mountains, when it's cold, or when you're just in a colder weather situation, I got this nice little light hoodie. It's really soft. I don't have anything like this. It was only $7.99. It was the only one I saw. It's this nice like, gradient from this light gray to the whitish, and then. So, it's very comfy. It's a little oversized on me, which I like. And then you have little slits for your thumbs. And then, obviously, you have the hood. Because it's a hoodie. Duh. And it's kind of long. It's not like I really need this on right now, but just to show you how big this is on me. It was like almost past my shorts, pretty much. So this was a really nice piece to have. Only $7.99. I wear hoodies a lot. When I'm done work, it'll get chilly sometimes. Or even during work, so that'll be nice. Oh, 
so let's start that here. I have this little extra small top latch. I really don't even know if it'll fit me or not. It's made kind of like a turtleneck. And then it has the cutout where your arm is going to show sleeves. It's only three fifty dollars though. I thought I would give it a shot. And now the rest of this is makeup -y stuff. So I have a little bit of Laura Geller stuff. I think this is like her older items that gave Scott in stock. So this is Amethyst slash Plum eyeshadow. And this one is Pink Icing Blue Heaven. But that's pretty. I give them a try. Can't really get any cheaper than three bucks each for every Laura Geller item there was. A lot of that stuff was gone. People caught on. There was even palettes at one point. And then almost everything here is Elf. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until now. But I have a CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Bomb. In the color parfait. I thought it'd be pretty. And I've been seeing brow gels here. It's like a sheer tint. This one's completely clear. And then this one light. And I thought maybe it'll do a little something for my eyebrows if I don't feel like like doing a pencil. Maybe this would do a little something. Because the other ones were too dark, like medium brown and stuff. And I was like, hmm, I'd rather just go with the light. Because I don't know what to expect. And then I have another velvet matte lipstick. The one I already have is Flurry Flamingo. And this one is Ruby Red. So I'm expecting like Wizard of Oz vibes. Like the red slippers. And then Sonia Kashuk. I don't think I really ever had anything else from her brand. I might have had a concealer a long time ago. I'm not sure. But this is a twist up long wear gel liner in black amber. It's the only color they had. And it was $2.99 so I figured I just will give it a shot. Usually kind of pricey at Target with some of their brands. But if they're offering it for $2.99, I figured, why not? So that was from yesterday's run. Today, I didn't get any makeup stuff. I actually had the mission for bras. So if you're really interested in seeing this, and if you're like one of my friends, and you're like, I don't really need to see your bras, <laughs> just click out here. Because this is... Bras I got. And some shorts and some hair dye. It's really, really random. <laughs> you know who I am with this material. I really like this. So these are small. I wasn't sure to get a small or medium, but even the smalls look kind of big now that I think about it. So I'm glad I got a small. I thought they'd be cute. They're more like 10 bucks at least, around $4.99. Hair and I, I got the Deep Velvet Violet by Beauty and Sessing, it's like two ninety nine, And it's a permanent hair color. So I might be dyeing my real hair sometime soon. And now we got bras. Two bras. I thought this one was really cute. Roses all over it. It's really soft. It doesn't have like any wiring in it. So I thought that'd be super comfy that way. I don't have to worry about underwire like digging into me while I'm at work. And yeah, now it's just like pretty much anybody that has a chest would usually want a bra unless they're like anti-bras. 
so this is just the one that I wanted and it's pretty and do I have to say anything more? I never had one like this. I thought it'd be super comfy. And this one I pretty much chose because of the color. I love the color. I thought it is really pretty. I have a little bow right there. It's so cute. And it seems like the push-up bra is like the style that like a lot of that bra section is push-up bras. It's kind of hard to get away from them. So this one is a push-up. The ones I have are like push-ups though, so I don't really mind. But yeah, that's so pretty. Yes. And this was only $3.99. Not bad. Because I don't go splurging on like Victoria's Secret bras and stuff. I really only go to Victoria's Secret when I get like the money off and the coupons and you get a free thing and all that kind of thing. And this one was the pricier one. This was $6.99. But I can't wait to wear it. I think it'll be one of those bras you forget that you have it on and you fall asleep and you're like, oh wait, I have a bra on. Whoops. <laughs> so that was from today's run. I also got my headphones exchanged because the wire was showing. And I don't know how because I thought I was really careful with them. But I figured, well, I might as well just exchange them. I guess they're brand new headphones. I only had them for like a day or two. That shouldn't be a thing. So it's the same exact headphones. So I don't really need to show you that. It's the same minty pair that I got that I showed you. So other than that, that's that for Gabe's. And... Oh, well, they're right here. I forgot. But yeah, it's just a new pair. Hopefully nothing happens. On wood. And okay, the Brady. I was checking out what the the rewards card and stuff, and I was watching the screen to see what is being charged. Because I got like a couple things from my mom, but mostly just this clearance stuff, along with my drinks, my Arizona drinks. Let me get a sip of this, actually. So, I already knew my makeup was like under 20. And by the time the lady was ringing it up, it wasn't taking off the 75% that I know it's supposed to be. So I was like, wait a minute, this is coming up in like $8.99, $10 per thing. No wonder why it's like 50 bucks. So she stood, she stood there and was trying to fix it with us, and everything's all good. So, it's okay. It wasn't really her fault. But we always seem to have a problem with Rite Aid, no matter when they do, like, clearance stuff, or, like, some kind of deduction on anything. It's like, something always happens. So, I think I've seen this brand, but I never really had anything from this brand but it's called Total Intensity. So you have these eyeshadows that kind of remind me of like the Mono Renaissance palette. And they go with my Bub's Beauty palette, I think, pretty nicely. So it would have been like $12.50, but I'm pretty sure it went to like $2.35 then, or something like that. So I gave it a go. Didn't open any of these yet. Then we have a total matte lip crayon, and that's in the shade Trespass. I had to get it called Trespass because the Monster X song, Trespass, and it's purple, so I figured I'd give that a try. We have another one of these, and it's called Rule Breaker. It's more of a brownie shade. We have a lip graffiti matte lacquer in scribble which I think kind of 
It goes with the color I have on now. But I did this so I could try this brand. And then we have another one of these called Unzipped. Which is like another, like, hmm. I'm tossing it around. Which is like a ruby red. So that's everything. So they all pretty much came up to be the same price. I knew it would be like 17 at least for like all my makeup stuff, not 50 the way that she was trying to charge me. So that was crazy. I was so glad that I caught that. I knew something would have been off. But there was no way that like through the whole receipt that I was spending more than 30 bucks. Like that was something else. But that's all. I just want to show you guys what I've been getting. I'm waiting on a Wet n Wild package because those highlights were dirt cheap. If you were looking for the limited edition highlights that they had out not too long ago and you couldn't find them, go on their website. I was getting the Sweetest Bling and the Lilac to Reality highlighters, two of them for the price that they normally are. Like five dollars. So I was waiting on that in a unicorn brush, and then I saw that Wet n Wild has another like new collection, but nothing interested in me. Interested me in the collection. Like they have blushes, they have like metallic eyeliners, they have lip glosses, a prime like prepping spray, and a blush brush that is like pinky chromey and it's like seven dollars not that bad but i'm thinking other than the brush i'm not really interested in anything and they even have two lip scrubs but i just wasn't really intrigued in anything from that collection so i didn't get any of it <laughs> for once i was able to say no i'm proud of myself <laughs> but i don't know what channel i'm gonna upload this on I guess my main, because if it's, if it's not ASMR, I don't want to do too many videos that really aren't ASMR and put them on that channel anyway. So I guess I'll just put this on my main. And if you're on my main watching this now and you're missing my hauls and stuff, go over to my ASMR channel if you're interested in that. Because I haven't posted that much on this one. So... That's all. Just wanted to share what I got. And I'll see you later. Bye, man.